this hour of the night. <sighs> ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. The people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now. You need to get out of here. But that guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... the God of Wisdom. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> Wait, something is 
right! shaking. Wait a second. It's a earthquake. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers, Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. 
She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence.